Right, okay, laws of logs. Right, number one is log x y to the base a is equal to log x to the base a plus log y to the base a. And let's take this as a proof. So first, let log x to the base a equal p, y p, y naught, um, and log y to the base a equal q. Therefore, x equals a to the power of p. That's us jumping between the log and the exponential there. And you must be able to do that. Um, and y equals a to the power of q. Hence, x y, multiplying x and y together, is equal to a to the power of p, a to the power of q. Indices, we should know where we're going here now, giving us a to the p plus q. Remembering that a log is opposite to a power, and does it, I'll take the log of both sides now to the base a, so log x y to the base a is equal to p plus q. All that's happened there is I've taken the log, the log has undone the exponential. And so that's going to give me log a to the x, y equals, remember what p was equal to, and remember what q was equal to. Log x to the base a plus log y to the base a. And that has come from our initial statement up here. Okay, there and there. No. Right, so I could hit pause now. Yeah. God. Okay. Example one. Alright, uh, this is this is lifted from the book. The book examples are fine. So simplify note the use of the word simplify and not solve. A uh, log Four to the base two plus log eight to the base two. Note the bases are the same. That's the important part of this that allows us to use these laws. Logs. So we've got log uh, four to the base two plus log eight to the base two is equal to log. 4 times 8 to the base 2, giving us log 32 to the base 2, which equals log 2 to the power of 5, all to the base 2, giving us 5. Have I switched it off? Mm -hmm. Right, okay, we're recording then, great. So